Today, I'm going to try something I'm calling Tears of the Kingdom's most difficult challenge as I attempt to take down this Gleer using only sticks. So I need to get to work to find some materials to fuse. And that wasn't going to be easy on a fresh oh account. My God, and if I was going to take down this Gleer, I am going to need around 30 attack power on each weapon, which when combined with a bow, should be enough to take down a Gleer. And to give me a little bit of extra help, I did want to find the Barbarian armor before I started. So I marked them all out on the map and began to make my way towards it. And on the way, I found a nice conga line of Bokoblins. They're all just so happy to see me, and I'm dead. But I did end up taking him down in the end, meaning I've officially acquired my first fusible weapon, a Black Bokoblin map. A Black Bokob- A Black Boss Boko Two-Handed Axe. Yeah man, that was really easy to say, wasn't it? I then made my way down to these monster forces by the sea. My goal here was just to get some weapons for the next fight, but I ended up taking out a Black Lazal first, which actually has a pretty decent fuse. I Meaning my second weapon of the run is a Black Lazal Reaper, but I did have a much bigger fight coming up next. All right, so as you can see, I've got a Lionel down here that I'm gonna try to beat now. I'm not really the most stacked in terms of weapons, I can't lie. But I mean, once I get in the rhythm of this, it should be... Not the worst. Oh. What the? How does that make any sense? I hit him in the head. There we go. How come his weapon doesn't doesn't take lightning damage? Jesus! Oh, it was so close. If I can get one headshot and then just get on his back right here, I think that. Whoa, so he does buck you off like that every time. Oh my god. He's so close. Oh yes, oh my god. That's so good. That's so huge. I, I actually get a good bow as well. I pick up two crucial fuse weapons, with these probably being my two most powerful weapons for the fight. I was also fighting against this construct base later, and I found some cannons in a chest, which means that is going to be my special trump card tool of choice. It might not do the most damage in the world, but it sure as hell looks sick as I also found a second Lionel, and this let me acquire two new fuse weapons that were also going to be pretty powerful. By this point, I had seven weapons for the fight, and honestly, I was kind of struggling to come up with new materials to fuse with. I made a rule that I couldn't repeat a fuse material just because I thought that was a little bit boring, so I had to find some creative creatures to fight. So now that I've got the Lionel parts, I think the last thing I want to fight, or the last two things I want to fight, is a Molduga here and a Stone Talus. Okay, that's not how you do it. How do I do this? Maybe I can just snipe them. Jesus. A few moments later. Okay, I think I've done some research and I think I know how to do this. So I think I shoot an arrow close by, like there. So then he jumps. Okay, that's good. And I just hit the shit out of it. Okay, then I then I escape. Then I. I got a little 
little greedy there. Let's try that again, huh? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah. And that's all we want. We just needed one more jaw. Leaving me with one final enemy to take down for its fuse. And so I took it down. And I took it down for my final fuse weapon. And so I bought some munitions, crafted some provisions, and picked up some sticks. So I could finally use all my weapons to create the ultimate anti gliok hunting kit. It was officially go time. Today's the day I'm going to fight this Gleok. I did consider trying to beat the King Gleok, which would be all the way over there. But I'll show you some attempts on screen right now, but it was very difficult to get there to say the least. I tried to glide over there, I tried to use a platform to get over there, and I swear to god nothing worked. You just have to have like insane stamina or something. So instead I've located the Thunder Gliok, marked somewhere there, it should be right there. I believe none of these none of these weapons are gonna be affected by the lightning, which is good. I reckon I can beat this first try. Am I delusional for saying that? Alright, let's go. Blood time shots. Ah! What happened there? What? Okay. Okay, the heads are... Okay, I can see the health bars, that's good. Oh, I did not realize that's gonna take a full heart. Oh my god. Whew. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. That was nice. It's not nice. I need to hit that. I need to hit that. Oh my god, what a shot. What a shot. Alright, max damage straight away. Oh yes. Run around right now. I'm just raw hitting these shots as well. No aim assist. Okay, that was aim assist. And then, what does he throw down now? Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That wasn't so bad. I thought I did alright. Yeah, so I'll dive in. I'll shoot some arrows. And then I'll see if the cannon fire does anything to, like, hit the heads or something. If I can get, like, kind of close, I think that's not a bad shot. Oh, yeah, there we go. I used that used all of my battery. Sick. Oh my god. Jesus. 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 Oh my god. I'm getting sniped out of the sky. Oh, how do I took full damage as well, didn't I? How do I... Where am I getting hit from? Oh no! No!
Oh my god, I did it again. I did it again. I can't believe you can die after being rezzed like that. <laughs> Oh my god, and I clutched that sh Oh my- I'm the best player of all time. Oh my god. Whew. I'm- I'm now living proof that you can in fact beat a Gliok with only sticks. It makes me think, maybe I should try to find that King Gliok. Maybe that's for the next time, huh?